Hey guys, it's Rob, and the Video Game Awards were shown a couple days ago, so let's talk about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, it helps the video reach more people, and if you enjoyed this video and you want more content from me, subscribe to RoboRob. So the Video Game Awards was shown yesterday, and it was filled with great announcements and a lot of cringy moments, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, that you should expect from the Game Awards. But overall, it was a blast to watch, and here are my top 5 moments from the Video Game Awards. Number 5 is the announcement of Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 3. Now, Ultimate Alliance is one of those games that have been asked by fans a lot, and we are finally getting it. With gameplay shown off that looks very promising and even story details with the Black Order and Thanos, it's finally time to jump back into Ultimate Alliance, which is an exclusive for the Nintendo Switch no less, which makes it even better. Taking it on the go is fantastic. Number 4 may be a bit of a surprise to you guys, and that is Anthem. Now there were rumors that Anthem was going to be delayed, it is by EA, and I know there's a lot of turmoil around that company, but it seems that everything is on track for release. There's going to be a beta soon, actually I think it's today, it's the 8th, so it should be today, and I didn't get an email back saying I was accepted to it, so unfortunately I don't get to play it. But the trailers were amazing, and the trailer that we got at the Game Awards showed some more story and some more gameplay, and a little more tidbits on what we can expect from Anthem. Which is looking amazing and I hope 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 they nail this game down because I want something to hold me over till division and to play alongside division I love MMOs and I love these looter shooters so hopefully anthem uh, delivers number three is by obsidian and the reason why is it looks like borderlands and fallout put together this looks like it could be one of those huge franchises that hits and shakes the gaming world and cements itself like games like fallout Skyrim call of duty those kind of games that really made gaming history the story the story looks wacky and fun and dumb and I'm ready for one of those huge games again. Number 2 is Persona 5, the character Joker coming to Super Smash Bros. This is fantastic and one that I didn't even expect and I think a lot of us didn't expect. If Joker is coming to Super Smash Bros Ultimate, this could mean that we could see Persona 5 on the Switch, which would be glorious and instant buy for me. Now with this comes the music and the stage, which will be one of my favorite stages to play with and instantly purely because of the Persona 5 soundtrack. Number 1 is Crash Team Racing. And like I said when I covered it in that video about the tweet that announced that Crash Team Racing was going to be at the Game Awards, we were going to get a trailer that shows just how much of an upgrade it is from the PS1 Crash Team Racing to the new one, the remastered. I can't wait to jump back into this game, and it even has online multiplayer. Who wouldn't want that? If this is getting a remaster, I wonder what other games could get remastered. Maybe Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, or Soul Reaver, or even Legends of Dragoon. I mean, imagine hearing at E3 2019 that we get a Legends of Dragoon remaster mastered for the switch my life would be complete those are my top five announcements at the game awards 2018 which are my opinion if yours are different tell me in the comment section below and for more top fives in gaming subscribe to robo rob and i'll see you guys in the next video